Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I want to show you how to set the perfect audio levels for your YouTube videos using Premiere Pro. In this video, first I'm going to show you how to check if the audio in your videos is too soft or too loud for YouTube. And then I'll show you a really quick and easy way to make sure your audio is always at the perfect level every time. So what I've done is I've uploaded three different mixes of the same video to YouTube. I've got one to minus 10, to minus two, and minus one dB. And what I'll do is I'll click to play the first one. Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here, and today I wanna to show you what I consider to be. And this is just a mix for one of my previous videos, but if I wanted to check how YouTube is playing back this audio, what I can do is right click the video, and go down to Stats for Nerds. And I get all of this information here about how YouTube is playing this back. Now, the area that we wanna focus on is here where it says Volume Normalized. And this first percentage here, 100%, just refers to the volume slider in the YouTube player. So I can move this around and it's gonna change that number. The second percentage refers to any volume adjustments made by YouTube to normalize your audio. And at 100%, YouTube has made no adjustments to my audio. Now that would be fine, except that it's telling me that my content loudness is minus nine decibels. If your content loudness is a negative number, that means it's too soft. And in the case of this video, it's too soft by nine decibels, which is a pretty big drop in volume. So let's move on to the next video. This should be much louder. Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I wanna to show you what I Okay, so it sounds much louder to my ears. Looking at the second percentage, this video has been turned down by YouTube. So it's playing at 73% of the original level. And you can see why when you check the content loudness over here, when you see a number that's higher than zero, your volume is too loud. And in this case, it's 2.8 decibels louder than it should be, which is why YouTube has turned it down. So then let's move on to our last video here, which has been mixed to minus one. And since this video is louder than the one that's mixed to minus two, you would think this would definitely be turned down by YouTube. But if you look here, the percentage is actually 100% of the original level. And the content loudness is only minus 0.1 decibels. So then why is a video that's mixed to minus two decibels too loud, but a video that's mixed to minus one decibel, the perfect level? Well, the reason is because YouTube doesn't calculate content loudness using decibels. It uses something called loudness units. And whereas decibels measure short-term audio levels, loudness units measure how we perceive those levels over time. So then how do you mix something using loudness units instead of decibels? Well, the good news is you can specify the loudness of your audio when you export from Premiere Pro. But first, you wanna make sure the mix in your timeline sounds good to your ears. So whatever level you've mixed it to, and then go up to File, Export, Media, and then you would set your formats and your video settings to whatever you would normally set them to. But what I wanna do is go over to the Effects tab, and I wanna go all the way down to the very bottom, where we have loudness normalization. I'm gonna check this and I'm gonna set the loudness standard to ITU BS17703. For the target loudness, I'm gonna set this to YouTube's target loudness, which is minus 14 LUFS. So LUFS stands for loudness units full scale. For the tolerance, I'm gonna set this to zero. And this setting at the bottom here, max true peak level, this is going to apply a limiter to your audio to prevent your peaks from exceeding a certain level. So I'm gonna say I don't want to exceed minus one decibels true peak. And that's just for safety to avoid any distortion in my audio. And that's it. Now you can upload your videos to YouTube knowing that they will be the perfect loudness. Not too soft, but also not so loud that YouTube will have to turn them down. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.